Hi, I'm Roberta Byer, owner of the Fat Finch, a birding and nature store in Albuquerque, New Mexico. We're also on the web at fatfinch.com. Today I wanted to talk to you about a really important chore when it comes to uh, feeding hummingbirds, and that is keeping your hummingbird feeders clean. Um, nectar is basically water and sugar, and it will inevitably form mold. So one of the most important things you can do in, in cleaning a feeder is to be sure and clean out any mold, areas of mold that might develop in your feeder. Uh, typically, even if you're rinsing and cleaning your feeder each time you fill it, you'll find that there's mold that develops inside of these little holes. And there are these great little brushes on the market. They look like little mascara brushes. And they get sold in little sets like this or in little packages. And these are great for getting in here and cleaning these little holes out. Um, so you want to do that every time you, you clean and fill your hummingbird feeder. The other area that tends to be problematic is down here in these bottlenecks and these little brushes. I'm demonstrating this on a feeder called the Best One Feeder. These curved brushes are super for getting around these bottlenecks and keeping them nice and clean. And in addition, you can use a longer brush like this to actually get down into the bottom and clean those areas. So that's a, a real important way to keep these clean. I like these saucer feeders quite a bit because they don't have the bottlenecks that you uh, have when you are trying to keep these clean. They're much, much easier to clean. But again, they do have these little holes, so you want to be sure and get in here and clean that very carefully. Um, this is another type of saucer feeder from Perky Pet. If you have this kind of feeder, be sure to pop out these little flowers and clean inside of there and also underneath here so that you can get the mold out of that. Uh, whenever you're cleaning, you can use just soap and water. Uh, be sure to rinse really, really well so there's no soap residue left. And if you have some very stubborn stains of mold, you can spray some hydrogen peroxide on those and that works really well. Again, rinse, rinse, rinse when you're done. And finally, um, a very weak bleach solution can also be really helpful in cleaning feeders. But because bleach is toxic, you do want to make sure that you rinse very, very carefully. Um, here's another nice implement for cleaning some of these bottlenecks and other feeders. It's a little uh, foam rubber brush from Perky Pet. And you can wet this and then you can stick this inside of the bottle and it gets in there and cleans quite well. So those are just some of our tips for keeping your hummingbird feeders clean. And if you have any questions or need help, you can give us a call. Uh, our contact information is at our website, fatfinch.com.